look anywhere to start. That is a very pretty magic stuff. I like the effects. Little fairies. Alright Sprouts, welcome to Fae Farm. This is our first look at this game. We haven't done any testing. Uh, welcome to Fae Farm. If you would like to play online with friends, it is required that you log in to the Phoenix Lab account. I'm going to skip that for now. I will look up multiplayers later. See what sort of settings are. Language, music, sound effects, gameplay, control room brawl, control shake, simple fishing, colorblind options. That is nice. Even in this day and age, not all games have colorblind. Um, I'm playing with the mouse and keyboard, so I'm going to leave these two alone. Graphics, uh, borderless window, fully presets, anti aliasing. Hopefully, I will not have to change any of these. And play the game. It looks like you're new here. Let's give your world a name. Alright. My world. What? That seems a little boring. So, we'll call it the Meadows. <laughs> the little chicken. The little silly bean. Um, currently, as far as I know, uh, Fae Farm is available both on Steam and the Epic Games Store. I bought mine on Steam, and it is either already out or is coming out soon for the Nintendo Switch. Don't give up a fish. If a fish is hard to reel in, try eating the right meal or upgrading your fishing rod before you cast your lure. Rare critters will give you more essence and are worth more florins when sold. So florins, therefore, must be the name of the money. Okay. Can change what her body looks like. Uh... I'll go with that, I think. Lightly tanned. I have no tan. I burn in the sun. Like a vampire. Eyes! Okay. okay. Reminds me of a Lego character. Let's see. I'm not sure I like the giggling every time she does something. I color... Purple? I like the purple. Both. Oh, you can choose uh, different eyes. Okay. Eyebrow color? And I can just get rid of eyebrows entirely. One of those looks more like clover. Okay, hair color. Yeah. I don't like the eyebrows. I would like to be able to get rid of them. Okay, mouse shape. I'll go with standard smiling. Um, a lot of different styles. And to rotate it around, take a look at the back. It's a little slow to rotate. <laughs> and I do a little hair flip there. Is this all the options? Okay, a little bit of customization, but not a excessive amount. Uh, in lieu of cat ears, I think I'll take that. No mustache. Facial details. Uh, we'll do no details. I would like to go she they, so I'll stick with they them for now. Voices. <laughs> Reminds me of Hook. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Shall I be a silent protagonist? Yeah, I think so. And hold and complete. Sender the blacksmith is also a... Oh no. Walking along the beach one day, staring at the sand. I like the storybook type. A message in a bottle invited me to a faraway land. The author described an island in need, one like no other, and a home for the brave. It was written so kindly. I set off with adventure in my heart and the wind behind me. The voyage was dangerous and my boat was shattered. I clung to the wreckage, my sail and tattles, tatters. Suddenly the waters calmed and then I saw it. Chapter 1, Wigum to Azoria. That is so pretty. I like that a lot. The little whirlpool. I liked it less. Cute little character designs. Uh, left click the duck. The responsible mayor of Azoria, Merit. Hello. Quest. My goodness. The tide brought in. Are you okay? <laughs> We're like, I'm sorry for causing trouble. Your name is Crimson Clover Blossom and you found a message in a bottle? Excellent news. I was the one who threw it into the ocean. I can't believe that worked. I'm Mayor Merit. A pleasure to meet your soggy self. Oh, the house? Yes, it's still available. Actually, you're the only one who's tried to make it to our island. It's a wonderful, magical place filled with kind and cozy friends, but we're surrounded by whirlpools. And there's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. And there's an active volcano that has been threatening to go off. There's also the wild magic that swept through and animated a bunch of junk, but we've managed to shove them all into the mine. And don't even get me started on the shade and thorns. Yep, Eorzea's are we're paradise. No, don't go! Well, you can't actually go because of the whirlpools, but I can sweeten the deal. I'll have my patented welcome package sent to your house. And look, a fun map that shows you where everyone and everything can be found. Go on and check out your new home. Quest 1. Merit moving in. The message in a bottle was true. A lovely farm is waiting for you here. All you need to do is claim it. Doesn't let you not accept. <laughs> I promise you'll love it here. M for the world map. Now, I don't remember what, uh, what the description of it, a farm is supposed to be, but I've heard it described as Sunhaven crossed with Animal Crossing. Or Stardew Valley crossed with Animal Crossing. Track our way home. Do we have to, though? Um, WSD to move. Ah! Fishies? No fishies? <laughs> that was cute! Investigate! Discovered recipe, picnic basket. Um, the... Space bar to jump. Ooh. Another scroll thing. Recipe barrel! Now, I'll go to the farm in a bit. I just want to run a little, want to run around a little bit. Chairwoman of the Merchant's Guild, Pearl. Ah, there you are. Spring is the best time of year. It feels like everything in nature is coming back to life. Chat. Good for you on coming to Eorzea. Must have been quite the journey. Open shop. Let's see. Unlock produce stand. Monocle. <laughs> Bureau wallpaper. Damask wallpaper. Fancy looking. Marble flooring. Very fancy looking. Cardinal flooring. Regal flooring. Ooh. That's kind of pretty. Time to cast your line for white perch, river cod, and salmon. Oh, that's nice that they're just telling me what I can get. Can I get that? No, apparently not. Um, I haven't actually, I, I haven't actually done a playthrough of this yet, so this is my first look. I haven't watched anyone else play it. I haven't. Is it pointing me in the right direction? Oh, ah, another scroll. Pink checkered rig. Bouncy things. 
And I want a bouncy thing. <laughs> Scroll. Clay pot. Is this my home? Are we still going that way, right? Overflowing mailbox. Welcome to Eorzea, day one of spring year one. Dear future friend, once upon a time in an island called Eorzea, glittered like a multicolored gem in the ocean. This land was home to many friendly and hardworking souls, but life has become difficult for them. Magical hardships had deprived them of their coziness and separated them from their friends and even their homes. But I, Mare Merit, know that someone like you can help us. Someone who wants to farm, explore, and have an adventure or two. Lately, even reaching our island requires a treacherous journey through turbulent seas, but a brave adventurer can overcome any danger. Nice of you to assume we're adventurers. Rare critters will give you more essence and are worth more florence. Wait, we already saw that. Um, so we have a little bed. I'm not sure. A little tree. You got a backpack inventory. You can press I to open your backpack and view or use items. Okay. What is this? It's a stack of letters that I apparently can't do anything with. A 16 inventory space, right? Uh, edit outfit. Oh, so we have clothes we can wear. We have wings. Lower face accessories in the shape of um animal nose. So I'm going to assume that I can also get cat ears. And it looks like I have basic tools. It's easier to land a fish is closer than one that's further away. Um, a campfire. Customization mirror. Okay, so you're not locked into what your initial appearance is. That's good. Hello there. Happy to have you around. Redeem quest. New quest available. So what do you think of your new home? Welcome kit was pretty sweet, right? It was literally just a backpack. I knew you'd love it. Erza is the perfect place to live. Assuming you're okay with magical thorns and suspicious weather patterns. I mean, we'll just pretend we're living on the Grand Line, right? That's exactly what that's like. Why don't you try giving your home its own name? Give it that special Crimson Clover touch. Now, I did not choose the Crimson Clover Blossom. That is the name of my Steam account. So, um... If you're going to record this or stream it, know that if you've named yourself something interesting, it's going to show. Meowstead. We'll name our home Meowstead. <laughs> because even if I don't have cat ears, I am still a... Well, I'm actually a clover spirit, but I look like a cat girl. Don't tell me what you named it. It's just between you and your farm. Speaking of farm, this house comes with one. Right here. This is the farm. Yes, okay, it's seen better days and it would require some help for grease, but you survived a whirlpool, so it's nothing you can't handle. Besides, it shouldn't take too long to tidy the place. Not with your own set of brand new tools. I mean, they did look... Uh, not... They looked like they needed help. You got a set of starter tools. Using your tools is easy. Go up to an object, place the left mouse button. The right tool for the job will be used automatically. Now that I do really like, right? It's nice to know that our characters are smart enough to swap tools by themselves. Just make sure to keep an eye on your energy. So in that case, more like Stardew, less like Sunhaven. With those beginning tools, you can get all kinds of things done. And you can upgrade them later at Cinder Smithy by the docks to tackle tougher jobs. Try clearing away rocks, logs, wild grass, and harvesting arugula from the farm around your home. Ooh. You can keep all the materials you can gather. And hey, if I'm gathering it, I better be able to keep it. Okay. Can I get the butterfly? No. So I can't get the butterfly. Alright, there is a specific place to click for each thing. Can I just click? Okay, so you can't... 
you can't click on a tool if there's nothing to, to use the tool on. So I guess that way they don't make you waste stamina. Beach log. Mini log. Uh, what are you? Clay, silt. The graphics are really cute. I do like that a lot. Does kind of remind me of Animal Crossing, which is good. One berry, two berry, three, four berries. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was so many berries there. Oh, oh, uh, ignore that. Go for that. Pick a regular. Um, is this a regular? Okay, two of five. Three, five. Nom nom nom. Gonna make ourselves a salad. Six of ten stone. I wonder what they're gonna want us to make with this. There's, there's gotta be something. I mean, something specific that she wants us to make. What's this? The door is locked. Oh, that's not our house. Um, a scroll. Right beside me that I didn't notice. Hello, happy to have you around. Redeem the quest. Tidying up, redeemed. Nice job. Now that you've got some space cleared, how about you? I show you how to use it. In order to make something, you'll need to construct it yourself. But it's as easy as falling down. See, you can build all kinds of things indoors and, and outdoors. Just gather the raw materials and then start construction. If you don't know what materials you need, just check your almanac. I told you about the almanac, right? It's like a guidebook to Eorzea that you fill in. Isn't that fun? You did not, in fact, tell me about the almanac. Back to construction. Let's start by making... Let's start by trying to build a piece of cozy furniture indoors. You'll learn by doing. Now that you have a house, you can decorate however you like. Start with a simple but handy piece of furniture, a round woven stool. Okay. I said go inside. Um, okay, see us flashing. Um, then, okay, so see to bring up this menu or this view for decorating, and then see again to bring up the construction menu. And then, I guess you can just place wherever. Boink. And then how do I... I do right click twice to exit construction. It's cute. I wouldn't exactly call it a stool. <laughs> kind of more like a bean bag. Redeem quest. It's like you've been doing this your whole life, Crimson Clover Blossom. Really, I'm impressed. I wish you could tell them to just call me Clover. I wonder if I can rename Steam. Generally speaking, you can build decorative things inside or outside. How you set up your farm is up to you. Oh, and we've already built you a mailbox. Miles, the postman, will deliver your letters and packages first thing in the morning. So don't forget to check your mail. I was very sparkly there. <laughs> oh, I know what you should build next. A cooking fire. Having a cooking fire on your farm is the easiest way to cook up a hot, hot meal. You can always make fancier equipment later. There's all kinds of things you can cook on your cooking fire. I've seen some arugula around, but there's mussels on the beach too. Try putting a cooking fire and cook some food on it. Okay, so it wants me to build it down here, apparently. But why can't I build it by my house? Craft and place a cooking fire in the area you cleared outside. Cook something on it and collect it. I mean, okay, but why can't I use the fire pit there? See to build this. See to build this. Plop. 
Right click, right click. Um, okay. Left click to that. To so choose the number you want to do. Hit prepare. Um, I'm going to... Will it tell me? Okay. It doesn't tell me what toasted berries give me. Um, I don't want to cook all of them. So I'll just cook a few. Collect all. Thanks. Maybe just in case I need berries for later. As I don't know yet uh, how quickly they will respawn. Happy to have you around, reading quests. Let's see what you've cooked, Clover. Bravo! You see, with a cooking fire, you can roast and toast your to your heart's content. Home cooked food always tastes better, I say. Cooked food gives you more energy than raw and sells for more money at the market, too. Try using different raw ingredients and see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment, you know. Get jazzy with it. I know what you're thinking, Clover. What is Merritt going to teach me about farming? Right now. Let's get your hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil beds. You know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and construction material in your storage shed. You have a storage shed, by the way. Go get the material in your storage shed, then construct some soil beds on your farm and plant one seed in each. Your farm is perfect for growing all kinds of veggies. Try putting down some soil, planting some turnip seeds, and see how they grow. Tur turnips, nice and classic. Soon you'll be enjoying fresh Aorzean products. Fresh Aorzean produce. Not products. Produce. You're going to be so self-sufficient, you can thank me later. You are trying to sell me on this really hard. Let's see. Okay, this is my inventory. This is this. Um. Eh! Can't. Okay. Max stuck. Choose transfer. Click transfer. Oh, I could have... See, I didn't see that pop up until after. Transfer stack. View an almanac. Ooh. Peppery spring greens are easy to gather. Okay, it looks like my food. The... The present that it looked like was kind of cute. Uh, see, build. Where do I... Uh, I find this slightly awkward. Okay. Now, how do I plant... Okay, you left click, you plant your seeds. You can plant them while running around, you don't actually have to... Um... You don't have to click each bed individually to plant your seeds. You can just hold the button and run. Redeem quest. From Humble Beginnings. Wonderful, Clover. Soon your fields will be spreading with ground-grown goodness. Say that three times fast. I'd rather not. Just don't forget to water your seeds, they won't grow unless they're watered. Though if it rains, you can skip a day. I hope you keep tending to your fields. As farmers always say, don't leave them alone. Haha, <laughs> we have fun. You've done so much to improve your farm already. I bet you weren't even thinking about that harrowing journey across the ocean. Oh right, I did forget about that. <laughs> oh, you should meet your neighbors. Or it has uh, probably already spread that you're here. We're a bit of a small town, you see. You should go to talk to Eddie the Mariner. He's probably near his home in Stay a While Bay. He'll have a fish tail or two to show. And are you going to point in the general direction I need to go? Track. If I track the quest, it does. I think? Yes, it does. There's Eddie. And let's just do a quick run around the farm first to see. If I can find any other of those scroll things. Scroll thing scene. 
Discovered field stone fence. Discovered Paradox seal. Do you know what that does? Ooh, fishies. Can I climb into this now? I can't climb into the hammock, but I can climb on top of the wood pile. Can I climb onto the house? Mm, maybe. Let's try. Well, I don't know if I can, but I can definitely jump into interesting locations. Ah, but I can't go up as high as I... Alright, game is like, no, you're not allowed to go that way. <laughs> Even if you use the bouncies. Um, and there's where we refill the water. Okay. Oh. Town center. And we can jump over edges, that's nice. Whee! Can I swim, though? For science! The answer is yes, you can swim. And you do a little jump flippy when you get out. It'll be nice not to have to worry about um, falling in and drowning. Check your drug. Smoke. Another scroll. Wizard's mop. How far are you going to stop me from traveling? Clay path? Berries! Give, give me the berries. Nom nom nom. And I expect this to... Yep, as expected. Another scroll? Archery target. Uh, appropriate, considering there's archery targets right there. Training dummy. Um, stuff I can dig up. Another one there. Wooden picket fence. Hello, who are you? Drek. Who oh, well met and all that. I'm so glad you showed up on this island, Clover. You're a great go-getter, Clover. Ah, oh, you don't say much. Yeah. Um, invisible barrier. Or maybe a mud pit or something? Split log fence. Wo beige woven rug? There's a ton of recipes. Open crate. Should we be concerned that someone has just been leaving recipes lying all over the place? Is there going to be a library somewhere missing a ton of items? Hello little frog friends. Well, you're not fuck friends, okay? Blue checkered rug. I like it. The blue is cute. And here are you, Alaric. Hey, yeah. Uh, I'll do my best. I do my best work under pressure. We um don't get a lot of that on Azor Azoria though. Azoria. Azoria. I've been calling it Azoria the whole time, haven't I? Oops. <laughs> Wrong game. Chats. I'd be better at making schedules if time wasn't just so fiddly. <laughs> I... I feel that. I'm not good at making schedules. I'm not good at keeping schedules. <gasps> recipe. Another recipe. Uh, how do I... How do I get up there? More recipes! Give. I want. I want all the recipes. I wonder if I'll get something that lets me jump higher. Is it? I don't know how I'm supposed to jump onto a roof. Okay, yes, that is that way. Oh, another one. 
rocking chair. Right. Wood fence, that's nice. Yeah. Oh wait, doesn't matter. <laughs> that's so cute. Ah. How am I not scaring the fish away? Get, get out of the water, thank you. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure how I'm going to get the one on top of the roof. Figure it out later. Um, this door. I don't want the door. I was looking at the sign. It looks like an item shop, probably. More people. Aspen, greetings. Town carpenter and building advisor. Spring is the best time of year. It feels like everything in nature is coming back to life. Someone else already said that. Please choose one of my carpentry services. Okay. No, thank you. Chat. I'm looking forward to planting my spring crops. Sugar peas, here we come. Greetings. I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't sell seeds. Chat. I'm happy to be in Azoria. All of my friends are here. Shop. Okay, do I have any money? Uh, it looks like I have 50 Florians. So... More turnips, cauliflower, beans, potatoes, corn, uh, wild paper that I do not like, potato seed, farming level 10? Really? But they want potatoes now. Okay, I'll get one bean. And then I'll go into... Cauliflower. Ah, uh, there you are. A patient person who sells saplings. Good for you on coming to Azoria. It must have been quite the journey. Chat. Have you spoken with Mary yet? She works really hard to take care of the town. Goodbye. Sky sells handy items in her general goods store. When spring comes, I feel like the muses are decorating the world with blossoms. I love watching the blossoming trees in spring. Goodbye. Good to see you. It's time to cast your line for white perch, river cod, and salmon. Okay, that's the second NPC that sold me that. Voracious reader who prefers fiction and mysteries. The weather's getting warmer. It'll be summer sooner than we think. Um, the fact that there are NPCs that repeat the exact same dialogue kind of feels like something that got left in when it should have been altered. Eager reader who prefers nonfiction and biographies. And another one that wants the exact same crops as the other guy. Although sugar peas was... was that? Did I buy sugar peas? I don't think I did. I bought... well, I bought... Bean seeds. I don't think that's sugar peas, though. So it wanted a crop or was thinking about a crop that we don't have access to yet. Scroll. Iron fence. Um. Oh. We talked to them already. Um. Uh, yes, I know I need to do the quest, but also... Bamboo rug, ooh. I do like bamboo stuffs. I'm jumping like a little fish. It's fun. Uh, <laughs> hopefully I can... Okay. Yeah, I so, like, I hope I can just go straight there and not have to go around a whole lot. And then I go around anyway because exploration is fun. Ah! Squid face. <laughs> I don't know why I was so surprised that I fell off. Ammonite? Coral? Uh, are these the mussels that they were talking about? Yeah. We're gonna cook these for gnomes. The coral... Uh, the coral is pretty, the sand dollar is pretty. I like the music. 
It's very soft and soothing. Hello there. Eddie, a salty sailor and fine fisherman, once caught a tuna that was so big it nearly swallowed my ship with me on it, but a whole town for a week. Which town? There's no lack of things to do on this here island. You'll never be bored. Reading quest? Good to see you, Clover. No one's told you I'm Eddie, a Zorius ma old mariner. I hear you got a little farm going. I won't hold that against you, even though fishers and farmers have been at odds forever. Never mind that, you haven't lived until you've fished. Believe me, give me the seas over the trees any day. My old lady here gives you a quick lesson on the art of rod and reel. Hot dog, I'm ready whenever you are. Alright, go out there and catch a fish. Any kind you like, salt or freshwater. I'll even give you my old rod. May it serve you well. Thank you for the free fishing rod. Press or scroll the middle mouse wheel to change equipment. Now hold your rod and cast it so your bobber lands near the mouth of a fish. Then reel it in a bit at a time, not too fast. The hypnotic motion should encourage the fish to strike. When the fish is bitten, you get to reeling fast. Not all at once though, or your line, if your line turns red, it's ready to break. Let's stop for a moment until it turns white again. Keep it up and with a little luck, you'll reel in a prize. Go fishing and come and tell me all about it. Uh. Okay, I'll do the fishing because I've been playing Palio recently and fishing is something I really enjoy in that game. Let's go fishing. Bonk. Oh, okay. Yeah, fishy. Is that a leaf on the water? Start reeling. No! Fishy, come back! Okay. How about you, Fishy? Do you want to be my friend? I promise I won't cook you yet. Ah. Uh. Cancel. Oh. I let go. Alright. One more try. No, I can't just do one more try. I have to keep going until I catch the fish, don't I? Hmm. Not my favorite form of fishing game. I don't think I like the fishing all that well. Okay, got my first fish! Eddie! Oh, no, I'll give us some more try later. Maybe I just need to get a better fishing rod or just get used to it again. Reading quest? Ah, uh, you seem to have done well for yourself. Now tell me how it went. Well done, my friend. You're on the way to becoming a marine master. Maybe you'll even leave the farm for the seas one day like I did. But enough of that. I've taught you all I can. I've seen you grow from a minnow to a sardine. It's time that you spoke to our local beekeeper. And she's like, I am so confused by what you just said. Now the beekeeper can teach you about critter catching and you are going to want to pay attention to that. Okay. Map. Track Mel. Ooh, it's a um, decent size map, I think. Okay. And now the recipe. I was like, I'm going to ignore recipes until I do the quest, but it was right there. How could I skip it? Town beekeeper with a sweet personality. Before you arrived, it'd been a long time since we had a new face in Azoria. I love watching the blossoming trees in spring. Oh, <laughs> he's nice, your doll. Heart shaped and cute. 
a new face. When I heard someone washed up on the shore, I could hardly believe it. A second punter. Okay. Clover, is it? So nice to meet you. You must have a lucky Clover on your boot if you made it past the whirlpools. <laughs> I'm Mel. I hope everyone is treating you well. It's been so long since we've had someone new on the island. The bees have all been a buzz about it. You've moved on to the abandoned farm? Wonderful. Hey, since you're new here, let me show you how to catch bees and other critters here in Azoria. Azoria is a haven for critters, mostly because they outnumber us. By a wide margin. Now, don't worry about how the critters feel about it. I've developed the most gentle, cozy critter net. It's like getting scooped up by a cloud. Here, I've always got an extra net, just in case. Clip your net and swing to catch a critter. To improve your chances, ready your net and approach slowly. Why don't you tuck a couple swings and catch a few critters, then come back and show me. I just know you're going to catch the critter catching bug. Um, so I run automatically. Berries. Uh, what? Backpack full. Oh. Um, guess I gotta go back to the farm then. Ooh, what's that? And another one. Okay. Can I can put things here? Um, I have so um I should cook the berries. Cook some berries. No. Cook the mussels. Cook the fishy. Shelf with broiled over high heat. 15 energy, 7 energy, 25 energy. Okay, I might have to do some cooking just for the sake of stamina. Nope. <laughs> I am bad at this. I will get used to it eventually. Um... What? What is this? Silt. I don't know if I can just like go ahead and sell stuff. I'll keep these since there were so much gnomes. Um, but... Ooh. Um, oh, that was energy. Okay, that's nice. So I'm going to assume that there are different fishies to be acquired. Let's go get the energy. I'm also going to assume that it comes back the next day. But maybe I should leave one alone just in case it doesn't. Here, bugs. Okay, so they go sparkly when you're in range. Can I catch one of his bugs? Keep going, keep going. So many berries, like, whoa. I'm gonna go ahead and yoink the berries. That way, if they are on a grow cycle, they'll all grow at the same time together. Also, just the experience. It's pretty nice. Give. Okay. I hear frogs! Can I get frogs? Give me the frog! Wooden cross fence, I don't care, I want the other frog. Where did frog go? Oh no, it disappeared. Wh why is there just part of a vine there? I thought this were meant to keep me out of areas I'm not supposed to go to yet, but... That doesn't seem like it now. Okay. Doesn't matter. Hello, new person. Cinnamon woven rug. What were you thinking? Eager to teach anyone who comes to her for lessons. There are so many things to see and do in Azoria. I don't even know where to start. 
chat. Have you met everyone on the island? I love learning from people, but I don't want to impose or make people feel like they're being interrogated. Goodbye. Okay. Um, am I still checking the quest? Return to Mel. Oh, that must have been the firefly I caught earlier but didn't have room for. Nice. It didn't, um, it didn't automatically make it go away. Redeem quest. Well, how did that feel? Nice, right? You can keep the net. You've got great technique. I can see you becoming an avid critter creature. Catcher. <laughs> Remember, critters can leave you little gifts if you add them to the conservatory, but that's for later. The mayor said not to overwhelm you. You know, there are many critter collectors on the island. If you catch a critter, you can always sell it. There's always someone in it, Azorio, who'd like to buy. You can sell just about anything, really. And then you'll earn florins. That's a local currency if no one told you. Well, selling things is really Pearl's specialty. She's the chairwoman of the Merchants Guild. She's kind of a big deal around here. I'm sure she'd love to tell you all about selling things. You can find her in the town center marketplace. It's been a real pleasure chatting to you, Clover. Accept the quest. And... Shall we? What are you? Can I catch you? A brown snail. And a common- Ooh, I caught two things at once. Cool. Aquamarine seal. Okay. Berries, although they're hard to see because of the tree. Foraging level 3 plus 1 scythe luck. Mm -hmm. Okay, just houses over there. Energy. Oh. No shipping contracts today due to whirlpools. It's going to be like that for the foreseeable future. Let's see, it looks like... Oh no, I remember now. You've already got to check the quest. Or not? Am I doing it wrong? Um... Not you. There you are. I was so close <laughs> and totally overlooking it. It feels so good when the weather gets warm. Your damn quest. Hello, fellow entrepreneur. You must be Clover. Fantastic to meet you. I'm Pearl, head of the Merchant's Guild. You know, I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your pockets you'd like to get rid of, am I right? What if I told you you could turn that random junk into cold hard florins? It's true. You can sell that stuff for florins right here and now. Well, in the market, and the money isn't departed, deposited automatically. Now it's not the time for questions, it's the time to learn. Pay attention because what I'm about to say may change your life. Everything in Azoria sells. Everything. Plant fibers? Sold. Clay? Sold. Spring peeper? Sold. And it's so easy a chiku could do it. I'm gonna assume that's their version of a chicken. See, in the middle of the market are tables. You put something on those tables and... By the next morning, it's sold. I know what you're wondering. Who is buying everything? Don't worry about it. Azoria simply has a healthy economy full of buyers who are hungry for junk and gems alike. That's why I have a pillow that says, One Aorizian's inventory is another's resources. Try putting a few things on the marketplace table and to sell them. Mayor Merritt will be so happy you're participating in Azoria's economy. Find her when you're done. Make sure there's at least three items. Okay. Um, then I'm just going to sell. Does it sell individually or does it sell whole stacks? Whole stacks. I've got so many, I may as well sell them. Well, no, they sell more if you... Eh, come back. They sell for more if you cook them. So... Sell the fish. Here we go. Hi! Thanks again for coming. I hope you'll stay a long time. Beverage station. I'm all drooping. Chapter 1 complete. Market results. 
Greater catching? Other. Oh, was I drooping because I was tired? <laughs> Oops. More details. Farming, foraging, fishing, brining, critter catching. I did not notice the spring, summer, fall, and winter. I do like the icons up here. They're pretty cute. Uh, Monday to day two, year one, 6 a.m. Charred fish, broiled silverfish. Done reviewing. Chapter 2, A Thorny Problem. Oh, they were going to tell me about it. I was just anticipating things too much. Oh, why am I drooping? Oh, no reason to be drooping. New almanac entry. Alright. And I think this is where I'll call things. So far, it's really cute. I'm going to have to give some of the other skills another try. And let's take on day 2 next time. Thanks for watching. I hope, if, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.